Hi guys, happy Humber Wednesday for Wednesday, April 22nd, 2015. Cheers. So tonight I'm drinking a glass of the uh, blueberry pomegranate wine again. Um, enjoying that wine. Um, I, I have not posted a video for the last couple weeks. Uh, had some family issues and uh, uh, had a had my water heater leak out here in the pub. So uh, we had to get some of that stuff cleaned up and taken care of. That's kind of why I haven't posted the last couple weeks. And I just haven't had a lot of time to brew the last couple weeks. With springtime coming and trying to get yard work done and things like that. So hopefully I, I can get better about uh, putting up videos. I know I say that a lot. But I really look forward to making these videos every week. And uh, I know there's some of you guys that uh, look forward to watching them. So... Thank you to all my subscribers for watching and liking my videos. Cheers to everyone. Okay, and uh, with that being said, I do have a, an update on the banana wine that I've had a few of you ask about. So I'll go ahead and insert the footage here. Okay, so it's been uh, seven days. As you can see, uh, no more bubbles. So we're going to go ahead and crack these open and take a peek. Okay, here's the uh, bucket after I've siphoned out the banana wine on uh, batch A here. This is the batch I used the Monache yeast on. As you can tell, it's a uh, pretty good yeast cake on there. So this one is uh, batch B. As you can tell, it had a pretty good... Uh, fermentation for the uh, croissant around the edges there so we're gonna go ahead and uh, siphon that down into a carboy so here we're just uh, racking it down as you can tell it's uh, really cloudy just racking it down into a carboy okay here's our banana wine it's uh, been in the carboys six days as you can see this is this is batch A and this is batch B this is the one we use the Monache yeast in, and this is the one we use the Champagne yeast in. Um, this one's still fermenting some. Um, you can see some activity still in the airlock every little bit. Um, it's still fermenting away. That's why it's got such a different color. This one has been done fermenting for about four or five days now, and uh, as you can see, it's starting to clear out. So that's kind of the difference in the yeast. This one's taken longer than this one did. Um, and that's just kind of an update. Okay, so there's a little update on the banana wine. Uh, I do have it moved over into the closet now so uh, it can stay in the nice dark closet for a while. Um, we'll update you as, as need be. It'll probably be another month or so before we do another update on that. It's just going to sit and uh, clear out and age some. And then we'll rack it into a, a second carboy and we'll kill off the yeast and we'll just let it age for a while. That's uh, really all I have on the on the brew front. Um, there is a couple other things I wanted to talk about. Um, it's been a while since we've uh, done a Google Hangout. Uh, I just want to know if there's uh, any interest in that. Um, I'd like to put one together if, if there's enough interest. Uh, just put down in the comments below if you're interested in having one and we'll uh, try to get that together in the next few weeks. I was uh, thinking maybe the, the second weekend in May we could do that if there's enough interest. I've uh, got some plans for some upcoming brews. Uh, I'm going to do another batch of uh, uh, wine coolers here in the next few weeks and I also want to do another batch of beer and I need to get a, I think I'm going to do a cherry pomegranate wine here pretty soon. So those are the next few brews that I have planned. Okay guys, just a little short update for you guys. Uh, it had been a couple weeks since I got something out, so I wanted to make sure and get something out to you guys this week. Uh, thanks for your patience. Uh, just a busy time right now. That's really about all I've got for this week, guys. So until next time, remember, there's always time for a glass of wine. Cheers.